In this video, I'm going to model addition of integers. On the homework, you'll be asked to do some modeling, and what you could do is draw circles with pluses and minuses in them, or just draw pluses and minuses. Let me go through some of the examples. So here we have positive tiles and negative tiles. One scenario is that we're just going to add positive numbers with other positive numbers. So for instance, we have four, and we're going to add to that two more. And we know that when we're adding, we're really combining. So if I move these over here and I add them all up, I get a total of six. Four plus two equals six. Or positive 4 plus positive 2 equals a positive 6. This you should be familiar with um, because we've been working with positive numbers for a while now. The same is going to be true for working with negatives. So if I add a group of negatives with another group of negatives, I've got three negatives and two negatives, I would write that as negative three plus negative two. Because I'm adding, I'm combining those negatives together, which would give me a total of negative five. Let's do one more with negatives. Let's say I have negative 1, and I'm going to add to that uh, negative 5. I'm going to combine these together, and I get a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 6. If you want to think of it in terms of money, I owe a dollar. Now I owe an additional $5. I have a total debt of $6. Let's now focus on adding positive and negative numbers. So if I have four positives, and I'm going to add to that two negatives, or negative two, a way to model what we'll do next is to pair up both a positive and a negative. So if I have a positive one and I pair that with a negative one, they're essentially going to cancel each other out. Because if I have a dollar but I owe a dollar, that means after I pay my debt, I'm not going to have any money left. So this is referred to either a zero pair, or in the textbook they refer to it as a neutral pair. Essentially they're the same thing. When you pair them it equals zero, and, or they neutralize each other. So if I had Again, 4 plus a negative 2, I would have two of these pairs that would basically cancel each other out. And what's left is going to be two positives. Let's do a couple more of those. Here we have eight positives, and we're going to add to that negative four, or four negatives. We're going to pair these up, 
up or as many as we can. And what's left is a positive 4. Now in both of those instances, our answer was a positive number. Let's look at a few problems where our answer is going to be negative. So in this case, we have three positives, and we're going to add to that um, negative 7. So 3 plus negative 7. Again, modeling this type of problem, we're going to make pairs. Um, and what's left is going to be negative 4. Now there is one other type of problem um, that I want to talk about. Before I get into that though, if you want to think of money, I have $3, but I owe $7. After I pay my debt, I still owe $4. Okay, so the last type of problem I want to show is when we have the same amount of positive and negatives. So we have 3 plus negative 3. Well clearly those are going to cancel each other out and we're left with 0 because all of this equals 0 and there's none left. So like I said on the homework there will be some problems where you'll have to model. And um, so just use a pencil and make some positives and negatives. You know, in this case, you could have gone like this. And then, and then if you're canceling them out, you could go, you know, kind of circle them like this. And that would show that you're making those pairs. In the next video, we're going to add integers without the use of models.